Welcome back to the How to Podcast series. This is Dave. We are at episode number 100. We did it. You and I, we did it. Uh, if you have been here since episode one, you deserve some sort of award. Thank you. Uh, if this is your very first episode, hello. Uh, you have 99 episodes to catch up on whenever you have a chance. Uh, we have been working away creating a podcast to help you start your show and grow your podcast. We want to grow your podcast by growing your community, but also growing you as a podcaster, giving you the tools and the ability to shape your show and for you to level up and to find your path as a podcaster. And it's been really fun to do these over the last hundred episodes and spend time with you. And I really appreciate every person that's come by and pulled something out of these episodes and applied it to their podcast. I've had some great conversations with listeners from around the world, and that, for me as a host, and as you start your show, you're going to experience this yourself, but to, to have interaction one-on-one -on -one with a listener, wherever they are in the world, and know that your efforts in building a podcast is having an impact on someone, it's a great feeling. So for that alone, I'm hoping you start your podcast soon. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things we've covered so far, a little bit of what we're looking forward to in the next 100 episodes, and kind of touch base and just kind of spend a few moments talking to you and sharing a little bit with you here on the How to Podcast series. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Hi, Dave. I just listened to your most recent episode and wanted to leave your voice message. Thank you so much for your podcast. It really gave me the push I needed to start my own podcast, which I did about two months ago. And I'm really enjoying it way more than I thought I would. And it hasn't been nearly as scary as I thought either. My name's Rachel and I'm leaving your voice message from the bottom of Australia. So thanks heaps. I always enjoy listening to you and I really love your podcast. And thanks for giving me the push to start my own. So that was one of my earlier messages from Rachel. And her podcast is the Aussie E-Commerce Mum. Uh, definitely go check that out. It's a, uh, a diary that she's sharing and love her podcast. And it meant so much to hear from, from Rachel. Uh, and I actually had her on an episode as well to kind of talk about both the podcast, about her journey, and all of those great things. So having that interaction with your audience means so much. And I'd uh, love for you to go check out her show. Again, Aussie E-Commerce Mom, A Diary. And uh, we'll have links to that in the show notes. Thank you, Rachel, for leaving your message. That was awesome. When I first started the How to Podcast series back on episode one, I really didn't know what the response would be like. And as we've gone through 100 episodes, the show has developed and we've definitely found our groove and some great response um, as far as our listening audience and where we are in the world. And I'm always amazed when I go through the countries listed that are listening to this podcast. And it makes me so excited and, and I feel so privileged that I have a chance to speak to you where you are in the world. And I'm, a, I'm astounded by all the different places and where you're listening from. That means so much to me as a host. And I'm glad you're finding some value in what we do here on the How to Podcast series. So the one thing we're really focusing in on is, again, trying to build community around our podcast. And we're working through having our regular Friday um, Zoom rooms where we get together with other podcasters and we just do life together. We talk about podcasting, we work together, and we've been doing them at... 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday. Uh, so it's based on Canadian, U.S., North American time zone. And we think New York, Toronto, Florida, that, that time zone. So we meet at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every Friday. You're always inv invited to join us. You can find all the information over at howtopodcast.ca. Remember, it's .ca. It's a Canadian website. 
but go over to howtopodcast.ca and get all the info. We'd love to have you join us. And again, it's very light. We talk about some podcasting, some things we're working on. For example, I was working on getting my podcast on to Amazon uh, Alexa, and so worked on that and sharing that with the, with the group there. Got some interest from them as well. And some new clients have signed up to, to get help with their podcast through our Friday meetings. And that's great. I'm excited to take on some new clients and help them start their show. And some of them are looking for complete editing services so they can just record an episode, throw it into a shared uh, Google Drive or Dropbox, and I'll take care of all the editing. All the, all the information in the back end, just give them back a final copy and we can go from there. So if that's something you're looking for and you want to do the podcasting, but you don't have the time or bandwidth or whatever to do all the behind the scenes stuff and you just want to hit record and get the file back, we can do that for you. Again, how to podcast.ca, come and see me and, and leave me a message and we'll talk about how we can work with you. I really want to make this affordable because I know as a new podcaster, money is not flowing from from everywhere right now because we're just starting and I get that. So I really want to work with you and come up with a plan that works for you. How to podcast.ca. Another message that came in to me was from a listener in Brazil and Paolo left this message for me. And again, it feels so great to hear your voice coming through our SpeakPipe link on the website. But here's Paolo talking about his show. Hey, Dave. I'm Paulo from Brazil, and I'd like to thank you very much for helping me uh, to decide, finally decided to make my own podcast. I want to make some episodes to help students who are studying English here in Brazil. The studies of English here are very poor, and our students have many problems with it. So I decided to help who want and who need some help. <laughs> Thank you, because since I've found your podcast in the Spotify, I decided um, to do it. And it's my, it's my dream. And I want to have something in my life that I can use to help people who need. Awesome, Paolo. Thank you again for sharing with me. And um, on top of Rachel and Paolo, I've been able to help some people in uh, England, in the U.S., in Canada, to get their show started. And we're all at different stages in the process. But um, it's really kind of nice, even if you're interested in starting a show and you just want to bounce some ideas off somebody. Maybe you want to go over the name of your show or uh, just the practicalities of how, how how does this all work behind the scenes to get my voice through a microphone out into the world. I have no idea. Can you, Dave, can you explain it to me? We'll jump on a Zoom call together. We'll work through all the details and help you understand how easy it is to go from concept to recording, to posting, and then to hear yourself and see yourself on all these different apps. It's pretty amazing. So if you've thought you don't know how to do this, or you don't you don't think you're capable of doing this, I'm telling you, you can. And I will walk you through every step and make it as easy and as cheap as possible. I, unlike some other gurus in the world, I think you should podcast for free when you're starting and figure out your journey, figure out if this podcasting thing is right for you before you go out and spend a lot of money. Like I didn't have a ton of money to put into gear and equipment and microphones and yada yada. I didn't have that kind of money when I first started in my first on my podcast. So I know you can do it. I've got simple ways to make it happen. And the beauty is, if you get started and you fall in love with podcasting like I have, you can always upgrade. You can always put some put some time and money into your show and make it better. It's it's it can easily happen. 
But to think you have to spend a certain amount of money just to get in the door, those people are wrong. You don't have to do that. It's all about getting your show started and giving you the tools and the confidence to get on that microphone and share your story with the world. So if you're thinking about starting a show, please reach out to me and let's work together and get the show started. And you could be coming on the How to Podcast series to talk about your new show so that we can leverage this together and help you grow and develop your new show. Rachel did respond back as we've had conversations back and forth. And the one thing I love to do when I get feedback from an audience member is play like I'm doing here, play the message here in the podcast. But also I love to create a little mini episode for people who leave me messages. I want to go a step above what anyone would expect. And that's what I want to demonstrate is I want to create a little episode for you promoting your show and sharing with the world all the listeners here on the How to Podcast series about you. And that's the main focus of why I'm doing this. So when Rachel left me a message, I went and grabbed some information from her, from her podcast. I created a podcast episode for her and I was able to, to put that in, out into the world to promote her show. And I loved her response and I wanted to share it with you, with you here as well. So here's Rachel responding to my little bonus episode that I made for her in response to her conversation through SpeakPipe, again, at howtopodcast.ca. Hey, Dave, it's Rachel from Australia. I saw your voicemail. I was so excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for replying. It's so nice to think that some of the words or encouragement we give someone has made a bit of a difference in their day. And then you made an episode about me. I, like, went straight to my computer as soon as you said that on the voice message reply and had to listen to it straight away. I was like bright red. I was so embarrassed. That's so, so lovely. Thank you so much. And then, of course, I'm listening to my own voice as you're playing it over your episode and cringing at it, which is, I'm sure, pretty common uh, when you listen to yourself back on audio. So I've just smitten as. Thank you so much. This has like made my day now. I've, I've been on cloud nine ever since. It's such a lovely support to have a shout out from you. Thank you so much. And of course, I would come and co-host an episode with you. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. I'm learning so much and I would love to, I don't know, be a guest and maybe you could help me with some words of wisdom and maybe my, you know, starting from scratch and just giving things a try, even though it's all rough and ready, might help someone else start their own podcast too. So for sure I would, that would be amazing. Thank you again. That's so sweet of you. I'm just smitten as it was so much fun listening to you. Talk about me on your podcast. Thanks, Dave. I love talking about you, Rachel, on my podcast. That's amazing. And again, we had a great episode together here on the podcast. And Rachel came on and talked about her show and her journey and all the great things that she's been doing through her podcast. And I love doing that. The other thing I offer, and I've talked about this before on the show, and I want to remind you, is I do a feedback episode on your podcast. So what I need from you is for you to pick an episode from your show that you would like me to listen to. And what I will do is I'll go in, listen to your show, make some notes on maybe the intro, the outro, the music, the your topic, your show notes, your episode title, your podcast name, your website, all of these different components to what you're doing for your podcast and give you some constructive feedback, good, and maybe some things to improve to make your podcast more impactful and help you resonate with your audience better. And if you're, if you're thinking, I would, I'd like that. And then you're like, whoa, wait a minute, how much is this going to cost, Dave? Here's what's unique about this is I have, I have a different approach than some other people who will take your money for this service. Here's what I'm suggesting. And we've done it once before, and it's been great, and I would love to do more of these. And I'm asking you to, to, to give it a try. The cost to have me go through and review your entire episode and make an episode just about you and share it here on the How to Podcast series is going to cost you a whopping, wait for it, donation to your 
favorite charity, local, global, whatever, you pick the charity and you make a donation to that charity as payment to have me doing this review for your show. Okay, and then let me know who this charity is. Give me some details. And not only am I going to talk about your episode in a review, I want to promote the charity of your choice and give them a shout out on the, on the podcast as well so that they know that they've been promoted on your behalf. So you pick a charity, you give them a donation, you don't pay me, you give them a donation, and then you tell me what episode you want me to, re- to review. And then there's one more thing that I do that other gurus don't. And instead of blindsiding you by reviewing your podcast and you have no idea, which happened to a friend of mine and he was ridiculed for not doing it their way and it was not very constructive. It was quite disturbing, to be honest, to have a guru kind of pick you off the fence for whatever they think you did wrong. Terrible experience. And that's kind of what sparked all this. I'm not going to release the episode until you have heard it and reviewed my thoughts and the episode in its entirety. And once you say, yep, I like it, let's go, then I will release the episode. Only after you have listened to it. No other guru is going to do this. No other guru is going to not charge you. This is a great way to make money for the host of the podcast, but I want to turn it around and I want to give back to the community. That's my goal with this. So pick an episode, pick a charity, send me the information and I'll make all, do all the work in the behind the scenes, send you the file, you review it, you give me a thumbs up if we're good to go, and then we'll release it to the world. And in that, I want to promote your show. I want people to know about you and connect with you so that they can support you. And my only goal in this is I want to help you and I want to help a charity that means something to you personally. That's my goal. So if you're interested, here's a little snippet of what I did for someone who asked for the service. And here's a short little clip of their episode and my thoughts on their podcast. Wanted to share it with you again here if you haven't heard it yet. Here we go. Enough of me. Let's kill the music and let's jump into my time with Glory with our host, Glory. I hope you're ready to get relaxed. Here we go. So here's the intro. This is what it sounds like when you hit play on episode one of My Time with Glory. Here we go. Welcome to My Time with Glory. This is season one, episode one. I'm going to ask you to make a commitment to yourselves today. In that commitment, you are going to listen to these podcasts with intention. Okay, so right off the bat, Gloria, I love I love the feeling of the podcast. You brought us in right away. You set the mood with that music is amazing. I love it. It's just if when you have your earbuds in, It just fills every space, and uh, I love it. So good start, Glory. Very, very good start. You got me right off the bat, so let's keep going. Your intention is to heal. So, Glory, what I love here is that I I feel like you're here with me and that you're right beside me walking me through this. Like, it's so immersive, and I love how you're – how you're doing this and you you leave the you leave the spaces podcasters hate space and you're actually leaving it in here and you're building a world for me just to become in and relax and engage so good job if you would like your podcast reviewed right here on the how to podcast series here is what you need to do contact dave via our website howtopodcast.ca Provide a link to your podcast. Select the episode that you want Dave to review. Dave has asked that you make a charitable donation to the charity of your choice in lieu of payment for this review. 
please include information about and a link to the charity that you have donated to so that we can highlight that specific charity during your episode review. All review episodes will be shared with you as the host prior to their release to the How to Podcast series listeners. This will give you as the host a chance to listen to Dave's review in advance. Visit howtopodcast.com for more on this podcast review service. Link in the show notes. We would love to review your podcast on a future episode. Thanks for listening and for supporting our featured podcast review today. And thanks for listening to the How to Podcast series. We'd love to know your feedback on this episode. This is new. This is me playing with different things. But I'd love to share your podcast. Reach out today. Have a good day. So that is a little taste of our review. So if that's something that interests you, this is open to a new podcaster who hasn't released anything. This is open to someone who's been podcasting for a long time. If you want an extra set of ears, I would love to do that for you and love to help you. The idea is for all of us to kind of take our podcast up a notch, up a level, and find some areas to improve so that we can reach a broader audience, share our message wide and far, so that many people will interact and find you. And maybe it's just a couple little tweaks here and there that would make things so much better. And the one thing that I notice when I go and listen to other gurus in this space is they generally have like one size fits all for everyone. So might be, okay, you need to create a coaching program or interview your client or do a Zoom room or something like that. And everybody that comes on goes through the same filter and it feels like it's a carbon copy of the last time someone else came on the show. I don't, I take a different approach. I think every podcast is unique and I think you're unique and it's not a one size fits all funnel that I'm going to cram you into when we go through the review of your show. And I know I wouldn't want my show reviewed by these people because yeah, they only have one way of doing things and everybody has to do it their way or it's not right. So Showing my bias there a little bit, but my goal is to help you accent the uniqueness of your podcast, and the uniqueness comes from you as the host of your show. So we have the Zoom rooms, we have our community, we have uh, we have our reviews that we can do for your show, and the other thing that I'm really working on, and I'm sharing it in past episodes. What I would love to do is to get a select group of podcasters who are starting out. And here's what I want to propose to you. And if you've heard me say this before, then great. You're going to hear me say it again because I would love to work with you on this. If you've never heard me talk about this, then great. Listen up. Here's what I'm thinking. Generally, for the most part, there's a statistic that says most new podcasts will fail If they're going to fail, they're going to fail within the first seven to 10 episodes. That's when podcasters get overwhelmed. Maybe podcasters don't see the results they wanted to see. Uh, They have this idea that they would take off like a a cannonball shot. Boom! Everything would just fall into place. And when the numbers don't reflect your intentions or your expectations, people give up or They just get overwhelmed by the time commitments and the preparation and, you know, the moment you finish one episode, it's time to record the next one. And And some people just stop podcasting. I want to get you past episode 10. I don't even have a name for this yet. (laughs) Usually I like to come up with names before I start talking about things, but I don't even know what to call this yet. Maybe you've got an idea. I'd love to hear it. How to podcast.ca the little speak pipe. Let me know what you think. But I want to get a group of podcasters past episode 10. So if you have like one episode, zero episodes, maybe even two, somewhere around there, I want to work with you over 
of around 10 weeks total and help you release 10 episodes, get them out into the world, help you with your website, review your podcast episodes, help you with the titling of each episode for your first 10, um, help you with your artwork, anything to do with your podcast to get you into double digit episodes. Because I think that's where you're going to get into a routine. That's where you're going to find your groove. Uh, Just like Stella did. You will get into a spot where you feel comfortable to continue past 10. Now, if you stay on with me after 10, awesome. If you move on, great. That's exactly what I'm anticipating. Come work with me for 10 episodes, your first 10, and then you're free to go and do whatever you want. And what I'm trying to do is create a little mini network around my seven shows and I want to bring you on board and bring your podcast on board to help you build your website, build your podcast and what I want to do is put you into my network that I already have with my seven shows. I'm over 70,000 listens combined across seven shows with about 650 episodes total and I'm in every country in the world except North Korea. How's that? So you're going to start at that level with your podcast by coming and working with me and leveraging my community and my listenership. I put your ad in my podcast. I will have you on as a co-host. We'll talk about your show. I will work with you on private Zoom calls, all of that. And I'm thinking about a small amount of money per episode Mostly because I want you to commit to this. Um, I know when I've had free things in my life, I didn't respect them as much. And once I put a little bit of money up, I showed up. So that's what I'm hoping for you is that there's a small entry fee to do this with me. We can talk about that. We'll make something work for you. But I want you to invest in this because I want this to work for you and get you past episode 10. That's my goal. So if you're a new podcaster, you haven't started yet, you've maybe got one or two episodes and you want someone to, to work with you all the way through to your to your 10th episode in a network I format where you're going to partner with us. You're going to promote the shows in the network. The shows in the network are going to promote you. We're going to have time together as a group of other podcasters in the network or one-on-one, whatever works for you. And we're going to work on your podcast. And again, get you past that hump where most podcasters would stop. That's what I want for you. And I'm willing to do this and put in the effort on my end to make you successful. If that sounds interesting to you, and you're like, you know what? I think I like that. I haven't seen anyone else doing this yet. I'm still searching. I might come across it, but right now I don't see it. I see networks where you have to give the network all your stuff and they kind of own your show and you have to do it their way. And no, that's that's not for me. You own your show. It's your show. You can leave. You can go and do your own thing. I'm here to help you. And I'm committing to you to get you past episode 10. That's my goal. And you come be a part of this and we'll work together. If that's interesting to you, howtopodcast.ca and let me know. Just put like, I don't know, network in your email address or more information about your network, anything like that. So I know it's about that. Let me know. And I'd love to hear from you. There's SpeakPipe as well. Leave me a voice message. I'll respond with a voice message. That's kind of how it works. Um, And I would love to work with you. A hundred episodes, everyone, have come and gone. And I want to say again, a quick thank you to all my co-hosts that have come on and been a part of the show, given freely of your time to come on and share your insights. There's been some amazing conversations that have happened. And I love the other thing I would love to know from you. I put on the howtopodcast.ca website a short little survey. Love for you to go through and answer the questions there. That would be helpful. 
to me as I plan out the next round of episodes. So please, if you have a moment, go check that out. But I'd love to hear from you. If you like the mix of one-on-one, me and you in, uh, episodes, if you love the co-hosted episodes, um, if you love the Daily Daves, if you have an Amazon Alexa device, if you're using that, i like to hear from you on that as well. What you like, what I should do more of, maybe what I should do less of. I'm completely open to this. I'm not making this for myself. I'm making this for you. And I would love to serve you better. So I am completely open to your feedback. And I would love to hear from you personally. That would mean a lot to me as the host of the How to Podcast series. So howtopodcast.ca. Go there. And when you go to the website, I want you to know the How to Podcast .ca website was actually built on Canva. Yeah, on Canva. I went and bought the domain, howtopodcast.ca, and I built the entire website on Canva. So if you're paying for Canva already, or you're using the free program, free version of Canva, and you want to have a website, I can help you build a website on Canva show you and give you all the tools on how to do that and give you the keys to your own website. You can upload your own pictures. You can do whatever you want. And I'll teach you everything you need to do so you don't have to hire somebody to make your website. Are you okay with that? I think so. Um, Yeah, so we can do that. We can link your website built on Canva to PodPage. And there you can have all of your follows and your episode listings. Um, We can also link it through pod.link, which we did an episode about in the past, where you can find and search your podcast and then get all the buttons for all the different players where people can listen to your show. We can do that. We can add images. We can add short little videos. I can show you how to make a GIF, or GIF, whatever you want to call it, of yourself, you as your own GIF. What do you think? I can show you how to do that and put you on your own website, drinking a cup of coffee or pointing at something for people to click. I can teach you how to do that as well. There's so many things that I can help you with to get your podcast up off the ground. And the beauty of working with me is I'm not going to send you to a library of videos to watch by yourself on your computer. You get to work with me directly. And I'm making time for you. So if you want to get out of the library and get out of watching videos that are probably outdated, old, and just just not working for you, come work with a real person, not a video. I would love to help you. Howtopodcast.ca And don't be judged. Be coached. And let's get your podcast out there in the world. You have a great story to tell. And I would love to be a part of getting your show out into the world. If this sounds like you and you're interested in this, continue listening to the howtopodcast.ca how to podcast series. Hit that little follow button, subscribe, whatever it shows on your phone. And every single episode will go right to your phone and be waiting for you to listen whenever it's convenient for you. You'll never miss an episode. Do that. Head over to the to my website, built on Canva, and check it out and see if you like it. If you like it and you want me to help you with your pod, with your website, if you want me to help you with your podcast, if you want to be part of the community, if you want to be in the Zoom room, you want your podcast reviewed, there's so many things we're working on to help you and your show. And if there's other things we can do, let me know. I'm totally in for this. Thank you for listening to a hundred episodes. If that's you. Thank you for listening to one episode, if you're here for the first time. And I look forward to episode 101 and forward here on the How to Podcast series. It's just for you. And thank you for being here and making time to be a part of the show. My name is Dave, and I'm looking forward to hearing your podcast in the next few weeks. Take care and get out there and do your podcast. 
Thanks again for your support. Talk soon.